Hello and welcome. So in this video, we are going to try something new with this uh, overlay in the bottom right corner. Uh, hopefully, it makes the video a bit more interesting and isn't too distracting to look at uh, while we're going through the video. So in version 113 of the analyzer, uh, there are several buttons that now appear above the track map right here. Uh, these buttons used to be uh, hidden underneath uh, a gear icon, which you had to click to display them. Uh, as of this version, uh, 113, they're all available uh, right here uh, above the track map. Uh, this makes it more obvious uh, what you, options you have and uh, just a bit quicker to be able to choose those options. So we're going to start at the left, uh, the play button. If you click this, you start playing back uh, your uh, lap. Now I have two laps loaded at the moment, uh, both at Franz Hatch, both in Audis. Uh, and you can see here the red one is the main lap and the gray one is the base lap. And this allows you to see uh, how you're progressing and which one's ahead, which one is behind. Uh, if I click the play button again, it slows my speed down. Over here you'll see speed is now one half. I can go to one quarter. If I click it again, one eighth. I can go all the way as slow as 1 16th, really slow this lap down. Uh, if I click it one more time, I'm back to normal speed. And if I click the stop button, obviously that then stops the playback. Now I can start playing a lap from anywhere I like within the lap just by clicking on the track map. So if I want to start there, click there, click play, and the lap begins at that point. Uh, I can also click somewhere along the trace to start playback at that particular location in the trace. OK, so the next set of icons allow you to position the map. So if I click this one, uh, it flips the map uh, horizontally. If I click this one, it flips it vertically. And this one will rotate it 90 degrees every time I click the button. So using these three buttons, you can really position the map uh, how you like to get it uh, orientated the way that uh, you would prefer. The next two buttons, uh, this is the throttle brake overlay. This allows me to toggle this option on or off. So if I click it, it turns it off, and I'm back to just the regular track map, which just shows your location, the sectors, and the start uh, finish line. Toggling it back on, uh, you get Toggling it back on, you get that same information uh, and also the throttle and the brake overlay, which you can see here in green for the throttle, red for the brake. Uh, the overlay is always the uh, main lap. So whatever that driver is doing is what you see in this particular overlay. The next icon is the 3D icon. If I click this, uh, you see the map in three dimensions. And then if uh, if you rotate it or flip it, you, that uh, three-dimensional map will uh, move as well. And you can play back in three dimensions. I click the stop here. Uh, this icon is the save track map icon. If I click this, uh, you get the dialog saying that the track map has been saved. This is important when you're using live telemetry. If you don't open a lap like this and save it, uh, using this uh, save icon. When you go to live telemetry, you will just see a square uh, for the track map. So you need to open it and save it first. Uh, the one exception is if you have a commercial license and you have a base lap loaded, then uh, the track map can be generated from that base lap and you don't need to save the um, track map before you go to live telemetry. And the final button is this analysis button here on the right. This uh, takes you to the lap overview, which you can also get by going here under the analysis menu. So if I click this button, it takes me to my uh, lap overview in the analysis screens. And if I look at an analysis that has a track map, like the speed comparison, for example, you also see these same icons at the top. Uh, in addition, we have three new icons that appear only in analysis screens. These two here are the zoom in and zoom out. So I can click those to zoom in or out on my track map. Uh, I can also use the mouse wheel to do uh, a zoom in or zoom out as well. Um, and then double clicking 
restores me to the default one-to-one -one zoom. This uh, left-right icon flips the main lap and the base lap. So if I click that, the main lap becomes the base lap, and the base lap becomes the main lap. And I click it again, and it restores uh, back to how I originally had my laps loaded. Uh, when you have two laps loaded in the analysis screens, and you have the throttle drake overlay displayed, you will see both the throttle drake overlays for both the main lap and the base lap. Uh, so here on the left side is the base lap, which is indicated by B. And on the right side is the main lap, which is the L. So you can compare how the throttle and the brake are being used by both laps uh, at each point on the track. And then finally, this little X icon is you click that, and you restore it back down to the telemetry traces and track map display. OK. Now, through the magic of uh, editing software, I am doing some live laps uh, around the uh, Brands Hatch circuit. Uh, I'm in the Ferrari right now. And I'm doing this just because I wanted to show the live telemetry uh, on the analyzer and how that changes the icons that we were just discussing above the track map. So uh, first, please forgive any slow laps because I am uh, talking about uh, the analyzer and I'm partially looking at the track when I'm doing this. So uh, the analyzer uh, icons above the track map when you're doing live telemetry get replaced by uh, the lap count, uh, which you can see there. I've done two laps. Your last lap time, which is a 1.30, uh, and then your best lap time, which was also a 1.30 because last time I did uh, my best lap and this last lap I did was just a 134, which was terrible compared to the 130. Um, but this gives you an idea of what uh, you get to see when you're doing live telemetry uh, on the track map. And because I saved the track map uh, when I was looking at it on a uh, replayed lap, uh, I got the full track map during live telemetry, as opposed to just a square, which I would have got if I had not actually uh, saved that track map image. So uh, I hope this has been a useful video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll be doing more like this, describing the various uh, features in both the analyzer and the dashboard.